The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Harvest Chance. My name is Jen. Can you believe it? We have already been in five episodes already. It's been it's been well, it's been a wild journey. <clears throat> Before we get started, Harvest Crafts will be returning October 2024. So keep your eyes peeled and grab your broomsticks. We're taking over the station that day. Holiday crafts will be returning as well that day. Not the same month, but in December. That would be weird. Before we begin, this isn't going to be a happy-go-lucky episode. And obviously I'm talking about grief and how it affects the younger generation as a whole. Coming from experience of losing someone close to my family from a horrible disease. And this episode is for the kids who are going through something similar or if you have a family member as well. Today's art is inspired by the topic that I'm doing. And this is a dragon that my mother used to tell me when I was, uh, I'm a younger girl. His name is Snowflake. He, He lives in the North Pole and before his mother passed away, she would tell him that whenever it snows, it was her looking down in spirit. I still carry that story these days when I see the snow for f- flurries f- f- in December. Or... It's been a rough couple of years for me. My mother was a warrior. She worked while she was sick and She definitely took care of me and my parrotter's well-being while we were in school. She She inspired me to continue working and fighting no matter what I was going through that particular week. And art has been keeping my sanity ever since her passing. Whether it's filming a movie in media production class or sewing a beautiful dress in fashion design or just drawing on a canvas during my own personal time. Writing also got me through a lot of challenges as well. I used to write poems when I was in school. If some of my, like my inner circle remembers, I think that was the targeting point of why I'm writing a book today. Grief will be also be a big theme in the book due to Phoenix's backstory is similar to mine, other than we both live in different time zone, our time paradox. I'm putting a lot of myself in Phoenix, and I feel that it's good. It's my definition of being a good writer. If someone could relate to the characters that I am creating, then my job is done. It's easy as that. (sighs) 
If you're going through something similar, I recommend finding a hobby that you would enjoy, whether it's an instrument or picking up a video camera or painting. I heard netting is very good. Whatever is going to help keep your sanity, that's all that matters. And I am very thankful for having the counselors that helped me through my freshman year and through my senior year in high school. And through my senior year in high school. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to reach out to a trusted adult or a counselor if you need help or if you need someone to vent to. I, I am fortunate that I have mentors in and outside the studio as well as counselors and and um and other people that care and don't be af- and don't be afraid to try something new i'm currently learning animation at the moment and i'm hoping someday that some of my animations will be incorporated in some of my productions here at the studio. It's never too late to learn a new skill at any age. As an artist, being a part of a community and being a part especially in entertainment. It's been the best thing that ever happened to me. If it wasn't for my challenges and my obstacles, my shows wouldn't exist. Harvest crafts, holiday crafts, or even this show is meant to be a safe environment for anyone who is going through something similar or something even worse god forbid knock on wood this show is not meant to judge anyone it's not meant to discriminate this is a safe area and this is a safe zone And that's what the environment that I'm aiming for whenever I'm producing. And I enjoy doing kid projects and or adult projects for the holidays. To me, if I can create someone, if I can, if I can create something that is helping me and helping you, then, hey, That is a victory on its own. Before I start crying on radio, I'm going to cut the audio here and have the the drawing continue. And I hope to see you again. I think sometime... I think I have another episode for the remainder of August... Anyways, have a wonderful day or night. Have keep creating. Stay creepy, my friends.